First time turning on the vlog camera all day. We were trying to get a little shopping done. I hope you guys can hear me right now. And now we are going to have our first holiday dinner while Andy's on vacation. And none other than White Spot, our favorite. Can you guess what we're having? <laughs> Can you get Andy got the bacon cheddar bigger burger with a Caesar salad, and I got the BC chicken burger with fries. Listen for the crunch. Oh. Hey, ASMR French fry eating? It's too loud in here, I guess. It's pretty close at 3:30 in the afternoon, but this morning was all about getting prepped for, I was gonna say the weekend. It feels like the weekend just because of the holidays, but just for the next few days so that all of my gifts are packed for family. And then I gotta come home a little bit later on, pack all my cookies up, get my clothes ready for the next few days. But Andy and I are going to head to Costco on December 23rd. I can only imagine what this is gonna be like. Just to pick up a few more things to do the stuffing. We're gonna get butter, because it's always cheaper at Costco. And then I think we're gonna go out for lunch. We're gonna try and do something a little bit holiday-ish for ourselves before it gets crazy. Are you ready, Andy? Let's do it. Also, I have on my new boots today. First time wearing my new Mark Fisher boots that I got on Black Friday. They were not a deal on Black Friday, unfortunately, but I just thought they were so nice and I wanted to have them. So I am finally wearing them. I think they're very winter. It's always a good time at Costco. Oh gee. It's my favorite place. This is my Disneyland. Butter. Butter time. Check. Costco actually worked out pretty good for us. We were in and out. Mm -hmm. Milk, butter. That thought was we it. Needed. There actually wasn't as many people in there as I thought it was gonna be. And now we are going to go, oh, <laughs> that scared me. Now we're gonna go to Flying Pig for some lunch. It's like borderline dinner, so probably early dinner. Yeah. And we're back in Gastown with the pretty lights. Dinner was delicious. It was everything I wanted and more. <laughs> I've been craving mac and cheese for so long. And then the salmon cake sounded really good. It was all really good. And then we got that salad, which is always nice. A beef salad with candied walnuts. Are you kidding me? And goat cheese. It was delicious. Now we're off for a nice little evening stroll in go Costa. Walk off the carbs. <laughs> Andy, we were talking about dessert. Yeah. And I was like, should we go get dessert? And then I was like, I don't know, man. I'm afraid of all the sweets that we're about to eat over the next few days because I know that everybody's going to have cookies yep. and cakes. My mom made a cake. Andy's mom always makes this ridiculously amazing cake every year. Um, there's going to be a lot. There'll be a lot. And we still got to eat our top around short for the pizza. Oh, I, you know what's so funny, though? I bake those and I rarely even eat them. I know, you never eat them. I, I eat like eat one or two, maybe three th throughout the whole season and I'm done. And you feel guilty. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I like eating everybody else's stuff. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We came across a hot chocolate truck just when I said I wasn't going to have any more sweets. <laughs> That's true. You did just say that. But it's so cute. I can't say no to free hot chocolate. We decided to, after leaving Flying Pig, walk around, try and go look for some Christmas lights. I think we're going to head over to the Hyatt Hotel because they do gingerbread houses there every year and they're really cute. And we haven't seen them yet, so tonight's the night. The tree wasn't lit, so I didn't put it in the vlog. <laughs>
All right, you guys, it is show time. It is, <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. I cannot even believe we're doing this at 10 o'clock at night. But we are gonna do the homemade stuff in. This is going to be the wrap up of the cooking with, Andy's I was gonna good. say cooking with us for Vlogmas, but the cooking with Andy for Vlogmas. <laughs> and he's gonna close it out with a pretty good recipe that he's been doing for the last few years. At least three, four years. Yeah, we usually take our homemade stuffing to his parents, my parents. We're taking it to my aunt and uncles this year, so let's do it. So Andy actually dried out my own bread. Dried out his own bread instead of buying the packs that we normally do. So we're gonna start off with all the butter. All the butter, how much is that? That's three quarters of a cup of butter. So we're gonna add two and a half cups of onions and one and a half cups of celery. And we're just gonna let that cook down for about 10 minutes. So now that it's like, see how it's like kind of brown? Mm -hmm. That's it, that's all it needs on there. So now we're gonna go mix it in with our bread. Did you tell them how much bread it was? Uh, no, I did not. That's a whole loaf of bread, so a pound of bread. Okay. And we're just gonna dump that right in there. You guys, it already smells delicious in here. This is like torture. Having to wait 24 hours to eat it. Yeah. Secret to good stuffing, fresh herbs, not dry herbs. So we have sage, thyme, rosemary, sous chef, I need your hand. Oh. One nail paint. <laughs> One hand. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> and flat leaf parsley. So. Two tablespoons of sage, two tablespoons of thyme. It's about time we make some stuffing. And one <laughs> tablespoon <laughs> worth of rosemary. Just a chunk of parsley, there you go. Salt, pepper. And then a tablespoon of salt. It would normally be a teaspoon, we're doing a tablespoon because we're using no salt added chicken stock again. And then just mix that in. Then you're also gonna add in one and a quarter cup of chicken broth. And my secret ingredient, a big old can of cream corn. And that does... That does what? What does it do? Add some corn. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a little bit easier right now. You know, I'm trying to explain to the people what the corn does. It adds a corn flavor. It adds moisture, it adds moisture. you it little adds, punk. Yeah. <laughs> It does, because we made it without the corn before, and we've always liked it better with the corn in there. And it just adds some flavor, adds some moisture, and it just kind of makes it, kind of brings it all together. So I gotta move this to another bowl, because we're making three recipes of this today. And this is actually gonna go into the fridge and, or, well, cool down for a little bit. So after pulling the stuffing out of the fridge, we're now gonna crack two eggs into another cup of chicken stock and fold that in. How long would you say that was in the fridge for? About an hour. And then just mix that in. Should we show them all the helpings? One, two, and the three recipes of this stuffing. Oh baby, you guys want to come over? We got <laughs> plenty. Oh, oven's ready. All right. All right, let's get these stuffers needed. Oh yeah, do you want to show them this part? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we got it, the pans really, really greased up, with lots and lots of butter, and now we're gonna put the stuffing in there. This looks so good. And finally, the last step, cover it with tin foil and stick it in a 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. 2.30 in the morning. But stuffing is done. Just gotta get it wrapped up and put away in the fridge. Trina's been working on the vlog, but I have a feeling she's given up for the night. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> All right, we have good night to the vlog.